This Saturday on Airsoft Review is brought to you by AirsoftStation.com. What's up, guys? Here with another Adiron Airsoft Review. As you can see in my hands, I have a style of gun that I've never actually reviewed before. This is an JG MK36 with the RIS front ends. Um, the RIS is full metal and the body is a nice polymer material. Um, I do have to state, say JG has really stepped up their game since the Olympics where all their, uh, their molds were broken from the government. Uh, so they had to pretty much rebuild everything. And so they've really um, rebuilt to a higher standard than all their old stuff. This is much higher quality than the uh, other JGs I've used. I've used a JG um, G36 replica before and it was one of the older styles. It had sort of a shiny body. The plastic felt much cheaper. Uh, it wasn't an RIS version, so I didn't have a full metal RIS. But um, the new JG's much higher quality. If you were to ask me a year ago, two years ago, uh, what I thought of JG's, I would have said, eh, if you're going to rebuild it and uh, customize it and upgrade it, you go for it. But uh, stock, no, stay away. Now, if you ask me now, I would say go for it. If you're on a budget uh, and you want still a nice AEG, go for a JG and um, you won't be disappointed. So you can get this from Airsoft Station for $160. Um, this one right here, I'm actually really impressed with it. I was shooting it earlier um, on an 8.4 volt battery, shooting around 10 rounds a second, which is a little bit slow. You might want to uh, throw in a 9.6 in here to uh, help with the trigger response and the rate of fire. And it's all shooting, also shooting around 380 feet per second, which is very nice for outdoor fields. It was pretty consistent with, within 375 to 385. So uh, now to a more in-depth review. Hey guys, uh, here we have the box just before I show you the gun. Normally I'm not one to review boxes or show the box at all, but I was impressed with the packaging. Um, probably the nicest packaging in any gun that I've opened. But um, simple exterior with this really flashy nice sticker on the outside uh, opening it up it's actually an extremely long box it's like a huge box uh, opening up you have this really nice foam on the top which will keep your gun extremely safe and then the foam is nicely cut out on the inside you can see it has these um the shape of the gun cut out you have your paperwork you have your manual and all that uh, taken out and then you have your cleaning rod uh, battery and charger with your uh, battery right here charger on the other side right up here uh, BBs you have a winding tool for your magazine just uh, showing you that and then also one thing that I really like with this gun is in this little white foam sort of bag there is a silencer um, so obviously it doesn't silence your gun uh, being that it is airsoft but it's a nice barrel extension so if you wanted to uh, increase the accuracy of your gun at longer ranges you could easily put in a uh, longer inner barrel into this and it gives the gun a much cooler look so um, a very nice um, accessory that JG included. So uh, let me put this all back together and I will show you guys the gun itself. So here we have the gun. Um, first I'll just go over the uh, construction of the gun. I pretty much said it before but um, full metal I'm guessing this is an aluminum um, rail system. Very nice rails all over on the top, bottom and both sides. Um, very nice rail system. You can hold ton of different stuff on it and then there's also the full rail running along the top of the gun for any optics um, you could probably fit a bunch of little red dots along there if you wanted there's no purpose for that but just tons of uh, real estate rail space on this gun for whatever you want um, one thing I do recommend though is a PEQ box for a battery because battery space in this is really limited but um, a PEQ box would be a nice uh, accessory for this gun. As for the back, this is a really nice textured, I'm gonna guess polymer. Um, it feels stronger than an ABS plastic, but a very nice durable um, body for the gun and the stock. This is all made out of pretty much the same material. Uh, older JGs, they were 
kind of glossy. Um, the, the plastic was shiny and it was just slick. Whereas this, it has a nice textured grip on it and it's a nice matte black finish. It's not glossy at all. It doesn't reflect um, the light like the old ones did. Feels much stronger. Uh, moving on to the stock, there's kind of a rubber butt pad on here. Um, quite comfortable. And uh, when you hold it up to your shoulder, it's uh, much more comfortable than if it was just plastic. The rails on the top are metal um, and the sights are metal. But uh, other than that, the body is a nice durable polymer. As for operation, um, the gun is shooting around 380 feet per second at around 10 rounds a second on an 8.4 volt battery. I didn't get to test it on a 9.6, but I would, I would estimate around 14 to 15 rounds a second. Uh, I will have all that information in the shooting test that I do um, within the next couple days. So um, we'll start from the back of the gun. Uh, just your standard JG, or not JG, G36 um, retractor, or a folding stock. Just hit the button on the other side. This button right here, hit it. It's actually a really um, a light press. With the old JGs, they were um, you had to use a lot of force in these stocks to uh, push the button down and then to lock it on the other side. And then when you you had to like yank the stock off um, of its little mounting piece on the other side. And then if you wanted to uh, lock it in place, um, fully extended, you had to sort of slam it. It's much lighter now and it feels a bit stronger. So you just hit this button and it folds, apply a little bit of force and it locks in place um, to make it much more compact. This is great for CQB if you do have to use the gun indoors, um, although it won't meet CQB requirements for feet per second. Um, if your field does have sort of a uh, an indoor building or something, then uh, you can easily go around corners and um, go through rooms without hitting the walls and stuff. So very nice. And then to uh, fully extend the stock again, you can easily just pop this open and just even lightly click it into place. Uh, you don't have to slam it, use much force at all. It'll lock in place and it's good to go. Um, fire selector, safe, semi, and full are ambidextrous. As you can see, I'm moving it from the other side. There's a nice, very satisfying click to it. So you don't have to look, you can tell and sort of uh, locks in place. You can feel that when it locks in place. So very sturdy and um, you definitely know what position um, your gun is shooting in. So that's nice, ambidextrous too, so good for left-handed shooters. Uh, moving up, you have your trigger. Nothing much to say about the trigger. Um, very simple, just standard trigger. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna flip it over show you the other side um, just so you can get a look at that uh, there it comes with a sticker right there nothing too special um, flip it back over again and show you the um, the sort of uh, well the bolt system I'm really a big fan of this I think it's pretty uh, slick how this part right here you can just pull it to the side and it moves the bolt right there so this is spring loaded right here. If, if you're not familiar with how the um, the G36 bolt mechanism works and all, the charging handle can be swung out to either side, um, depending upon if you're left-handed or right-handed. This gun is very ambidextrous. So you can pull it out to the side and then it opens up to your hop-up. Pull back the bolt, you can see the hop-up in there, easily adjusted. It's a uh, sort of a wheel style, so it just spins around and uh, you can adjust your hop up on the go without having to do, um, t without having to take the gun apart or anything. Very easy to operate. Uh, moving on to the magazine rele release, it's uh, pretty simple. Just flick this forward, your magazine pops out, and uh, you can reload it. As for the magazines, though, um, they are the, they do have the little, um, little uh, grooves right there and then the, the knob. So if you have two of these or three of these, you can lock them in together so you don't have to take this out, put it in your uh, dump pouch, pull out another one, reload. You can just easily take this out, move it to the side, and lock in the other one. 
um, so you can just connect your magazines and have them ready to go for a quicker reload. It comes with a 750 round high capacity magazine. Just pop open the little door here, pour your BBs in, lock it closed, and then wind the bottom. It is um, slightly translucent so you can see through it, and uh, it is also slightly reflective though, but um, no big deal there. To put it in your, mag or your uh, magazine well, just click it into place and uh, not gonna, there's very little wobble. Um, I mean a slight wobble, but uh, it's not shaking around too much. No big deal. Uh, moving up to the front, this is where you keep your battery. Um, as for how to put the battery in and the stuff, I'm gonna actually take the magazine out. But uh, this pin right here, hopefully you can see that. On the other side, just um, just push it through and then you can pull the pin out like that. Put the pin to the side and then you can easily slide the rail system off and there you go. Um, and from here, I'm, I've never been an expert on uh, G36s, but I, I assume you can just uh, put in a, a different type of front end if you want. If you want a, uh, one of the more standard hand guards, you can easily put that on. But for battery space here, your Tamiya connector, your fuse is right in there for easy access and uh, just plug your battery in. One issue I have had with this is limited battery space. You can fit an 8.4 volt in um, and it just fits right here. Um, and slides through. Uh, I've tried a 9.6. I have been able to fit the butterfly type 9.6 on there with the two sticks parallel like that. Um, that will fit in here. I did try nunchuck, which they're slightly different. The nunchuck does not fit, um, nor does a stick type battery. So it's very limited on what battery you can fit in here. So I do recommend getting a PEQ box. With all this extra rail space on the bottom, you can afford a PQ box up here and then put like a grip here, or your PEQ box here and a grip up front. So no big deal, you can easily put a PEQ box, or you can put it on the side, who knows. Just highly recommend that for a larger battery to help with um, trigger response and rate of fire. That'll help you a lot on the field. And plus with the 750 round magazine, you can afford to go through some ammo. Uh, to put it on, just tuck your wires back in, your wire, align this properly. locks into place then take your pin and it has one thing you will notice hopefully you can see that see it has a little uh, rib right there on the top that just pushes in and uh, sort of locks it in place so don't worry about that it doesn't have to align to anything it's kind of spring-loaded and just locks in so that's pretty much it for this gun very pleased with it as for the flash hider too though there's a, uh, a small set screw you can take that out and um, probably put it in, there's probably some glue on there. Put it in some near boiling water, not quite boiling, but hot water, and then you can unscrew this. This is a um, standard JG flash hider. You can put on that silencer to uh, give it a cool factor to your gun. But uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Remember, Airsoft Station for $160. Um, you can get this gun. I'm quite impressed with it. With 0.2 gram BBs, um, hop up adjusted. I was hitting about 140 feet um, man size target. So uh, I'm quite impressed with this. Please go check it out. Um, Airsoft Station. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you have any questions that are urgent or um, you just want to ask per uh, personally, send me a personal message and I will do my best to reply quickly. But uh, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace. This Adirondack Airsoft Review is brought to you by AirsoftStation.com.